What's going on everybody? My name is Christopher and this is Cars Unlocked. Today we are discussing the top 10 cars to avoid in 2024. This is based on some of the worst reviewed cars in 2023. Let's get started. As always, if you guys are new here, hit that thumbs up button, comment your questions down below. Do you own any of these cars? If you do, let us know, maybe we're wrong. Did we miss a car that we should avoid? As always, comment, but let's get started with car number 10. Number 10 is going to be the 2022 Subaru Ascent. Now Subaru is typically a reliable brand, but this Ascent kind of missed the mark. They added a four cylinder engine to it and in a large seven passenger segment that's filled with V6 SUVs, the acceleration is noisy and sluggish and a little unreliable. That is a small engine pulling such a big SUV. It also has a cramped back row are some of the cons. However, the pros, it does offer great fuel efficiency. It does have that gutsy turbo in it if you like turbos and it comes standard with all wheel drive. But overall, it's a small third row, lacks acceleration and has bland styling. I would avoid the Subaru XZ. Car number nine, and this is the Mitsubishi Mirage. And the Mitsubishi Mirage is literally exactly what the name entails. It's a Mirage. This is one of the cheapest cars you can purchase on the market, but sometimes cheap isn't necessarily a good thing. It offers great gas mileage, strong warranty, However, it has a weak three cylinder engine, cheap interior styling, and very loud road noise. And it also has a low safety rating. Being such a small car, can't be good if you're in an accident, you're getting what you pay for here. Number eight, and that's gonna be your grandpa's favorite car, the Chrysler 300. Now, what is once known as a luxury large sedan, certainly not a buy in 2024. It is sophisticated and capable, comes with muscular V8 options, spacious interior, and that user-friendly infotainment system. However, the interior is very underwhelming for the price that you pay, and the all-wheel drive is not available in all options, and it does have, being such a large car, there's a huge amount of blind spots in it. It's seamlessly outdated compared to some of its competitors, and it's lacking a lot of standard tech features that uh, you find on other sedans in the market. Number seven, that's gonna be your Ford Explorer. Now, Ford Explorer was one of the ideal family cars of the past. However, for 2024, I'm gonna ax this one, and consumer reports have said a lot of negative things about it. Sluggish transmission, noisy engine, lacking power equipment, interior electronics, and outside painting has a lot of problems, so there's a lot of problems there. It also comes with cramped legroom in the third row, not a lot of space for your family, and really, once you're using that third row, there's no cargo space either. The interior feels cheap, and the engine and power plans kind of lack acceleration and feel sluggish for what the Explorer is known for. So for number seven, I would ask the Ford Explorer. Number six, that's gonna be our Mercedes GLE. Now you would think with a name like the Mercedes, this would be a purchase. However, compared to some of its competitors, it doesn't stand a chance. You're gonna be looking at the Audi Q7, the BMW X5, and those are much better options. The GLE offers kind of cramped leg space. The infotainment is not as smooth and seamless as its competitors, and it could come with a smoother ride. For a Mercedes, you would expect a very smooth ride. However, this is a stiff riding vehicle. The problems with the engine, the body integrity, and things like that the Mercedes is facing, I would stay away from the GLE altogether. Coming in at number five is gonna be our Genesis GV60. Now, the luxury EV market is certainly taking off and EV vehicles are becoming more and more popular as time goes on. But I would recommend staying from this electric luxury vehicle. There's a lot better electric cars on the market and here's why. This GV60 is based on the platform of the Kia EV6 or the Hyundai Iconic Q and they're very identical vehicles just with different badging and it's more of a flashy version of the Kia EV6. So with that said, I would save the money and purchase the Kia EV6. It also lacks in range compared to some of its competitors. A lot of the competitors like the Audi, the BMWs and the Teslas have a lot more range than the Genesis GV60. So 
I would consider elsewhere. Number four, that's gonna be the Mazda MX-30. Again, another electric car, and this RX-8 inspired vehicle certainly had car enthusiasts smiling and drooling to get this car, but it turned out not being as good as what you think. There's cramped rear seating. The range is very, very low for an electric vehicle, especially one of this size. However, we hope Mazda rights its wrongs and does this car better with some updated batteries. But for 2024, I'd be staying away from this car. Coming in at number three, that's your Hyundai Santa Cruz. Based on consumer reports, the Santa Cruz did not certainly pass the bill. In an ever aggressive truck market, Hyundai tried to fill in the little gap there. And I don't really know if there was a need for this Santa Cruz to come in. Four cylinder truck is gonna be a no-no for me. The bed is super small. You can barely put anything in the bed and it doesn't really tow. So I'm not a big fan of the Santa Cruz. It's basically like a Hyundai Tucson with a bed in the back. And like I said, it's a very lacking bed. I'm gonna say no to the Santa Cruz in 2024 and I would not consider purchasing that vehicle. There's a lot better pickup trucks on the market. Coming in at number two, that's gonna be the Mini Cooper Electric. I would avoid this car in 2024. Now, it is one of the cheaper EVs on the market, but the range is just so small. You got a 110 mile range at full charge, and that's when you first get the car what it's rated at. I can guarantee you're not gonna get that range. If you're only going places that you're only driving maybe 20 miles or so per trip, then maybe the Mini's for you, but the range is just so small, and it's a costly vehicle to repair. That's one thing that Minis are known for. There's a lot of repairs on them and they are costly. So I don't think this vehicle with the impracticality and the low range is going to be a buy in 2024. It also doesn't have a lot of space in the back for a four passenger car. Really, if you put four people in there, they're not gonna have a fun ride and it's gonna be a short trip because you have no range. The final car coming in at number one and if you own this car, comment about it below. But the number one car is the Volkswagen Atlas. This is the number one car to avoid purchasing in 2024. Now, fun fact, 39% of buyers who purchased the Volkswagen Atlas in 2023 said they would never buy the vehicle again. It has questionable reliability and it had a poor reliability score of 72 on the JD Power rankings. So based on consumer reports, I would flat out not buy this vehicle at all. It kind of fits in between that Tiguan and the Touareg range. And it's been growing in popularity, but the reliability is just too big of an issue for me. It also has lackluster acceleration and there's more fuel efficient full-size SUVs on the market. So hopefully you guys learned something today. Do you guys own any vehicles? Were we wrong? Was there a vehicle that we missed? Put them in the comment section below. And as always, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys give us a thumbs up if we helped you make an educated buying decision. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.